What if your code editor could seamlessly connect to any tool or service you use? Introducing MCP, the future of AI-powered development. In the world of modern development, we are constantly switching between tools like GitHub, databases, APIs, and countless services. But what if your AI coding assistant can directly interact with all of these tools? That is exactly what Kerses MCP makes it possible. So MCP is not just another integration system. MCP is a protocol that gives AI direct access to your development ecosystem, automate complex workflows across multiple services, turns your AI assistant into a true development partner. In today's video, we are diving deep into how MCP is transforming how we the developers will work with AI. Whether you are building the next big app or managing complex systems, MCP is about to change everything you know about AI assistant development. Before we continue, let's explain MCP using this diagram. Take MCP as a cable that connects your cursor editor to other services that you use every day. For example, GitHub, Notion, Database, and others. Let's say we are building an app that we need to push to GitHub. So first of all, we can use Kessel AI to develop the entire project. But if you want to push to GitHub, unless we manually go to GitHub and create the repository, and then we push our project into GitHub. But what if we don't want to do such thing manually, but we want Kessel AI to directly create the repository for us? In this case, Kessa AI does not have access to external services like that. This is where MCP comes in. With MCP, we can extend Kessa AI functionality by talking to other services by performing other operations on our behalf. That is exactly what MCP is all about. Let's try to re-explain using this diagram. Let's take it that this is our Kessa application. And this editor behind the scene it is using large language model and then the ui to interact with with kesa ai when you install it like i said it knows your operating system and also the context of your project so you can create files and folders but let's say we want kesa ai to interact with our github repository by deleting repository or by creating new ones. In this case, Kesa AI does not have that capability to do that. This is where MCP comes in. So in the LLM here, we have the MCP controller and this is what we call two approval interface. For MCP, we have local MCP servers and then network MCP service. And these are examples of the external services that we can use Kesa AI to interact with by using the MCP. I believe at this point, you've got the overview of MCP. It simply means that it's a way to extend Kesa functionality to be able to talk to external services or service. Now let's get back to Kesa AI to prove something here. I have opened a new project called MCP and in here I'm going to issue some command. Now look here, if I make use of high, now with high, let's see what this cursor AI is going to give us. As you can see the response, cursor AI has been trained to work with programming concept. So it knows that I'm about to create something. Let's provide a different prompt by saying that what operating system that I'm using. As you can see here, based on the user information provided, you are using macOS. And indeed, this is what I'm using. As you can see with Kessa AI, it knows the context of my operating system plus my project structure. That is why in the configuration here, under the features, we have what is called indexing. This feature simply means that make your project structure available to Kessa AI to have clear picture about your project. With this one, if you provide any question about your project, Kesa AI can quickly find answer for that question. So at this point, I'm proving to you that by default, Kesa AI knows the context of our project plus our operating system. 
But let's say that we want Kesa AI to create a repository in my GitHub account. Let's provide this prompt. And it goes like this. Can you create GitHub repo directly in my GitHub account? Let me send. And it says that I apologize, but I cannot directly create GitHub repository in your account. This is where MCP comes in. With MCP, we will extend Cursor AI functionality. So if you get to settings here, and then MCP, in here we can add unlimited MCP service here. So let me show you how to configure it. The first step is that you need to find the services that you want to connect to Cursor AI to be able to interact with, either GitHub or Notion. And if you visit this website called Smith Harry AI, they have over 2000 MCP protocol servers. For example, GitHub or Brief Search or Magic MCP. So you can look through this repository to find the right MCP server to work with. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect GitHub MCP into our Cursor AI editor. Make sure to log in. I have done that. And then let's say that when I work with GitHub, click on that. And the installation is pretty straightforward. You can integrate into Cloud Cursor, WinSurf, or Client. We are going to use it inside Cursor. And the process is the same for the rest of the other MCP servers. All what you have to do is to read the instructions. So for GitHub, all what we need is GitHub Personal Access Token. If you visit your GitHub repository, then click on the profile and then settings and then scroll below here. Click on the developer settings and then personal access token. Click on the classic one and then generate new one and select the classic. And I'm going to log in using my password. I'm going to name this one as MCP and then the expiration. I'm going to make it as seven days. It is up to you or no expiration. And then generate. All what we need is the access token. Copy that. Now back to Smith Harry here, paste and then connect. We have other steps. By using NPM, we can install this one directly in our project and be good to go or the scope or the JSON. I prefer to use this. All what you have to do is to copy this and then back to Cursor AI. I'm going to create that file. And I'm going to copy the code into that and then save. Now with this one, if I check my MCP servers, this time around, I have connected GitHub using Smith Harry AI GitHub, which is this one. And we have these commands and that is create or update. And it says that create or update a single file in the GitHub repository. And these are the parameters, the owner, the repo, the path, the content, the message, and others. Let's try with the create repository. And this is a prompt, create a new GitHub repository in your account by passing in these parameters. So I'm going to copy this prompt. And then I'm going to open a new chat. With this prompt, without the MCP, Kesa AI cannot do that. So in case we have a prompt that is beyond Kesa AI capabilities, then it's going to use the MCP by default. So I'm going to submit. All right, it is done with this one. Let's have a look. And we have MCP here. If I open that, this is my GitHub repository. I believe at this point, you've seen the power of MCP in Kesa AI. You can explore the other MCP servers here depending on your need.